Topping our news this half hour, regulation rollbacks at the Environmental Protection Agency. The Trump administration is cutting the red tape for the disposal of spent coal used to fuel hundreds of power plants, saving utility companies 28 to $31 million a year in regulatory costs. It is one of the many Obama-era rules that our next guest wants to see gone. Joining us now, Murray Energy founder, president and CEO, Bob Murray. Why is it important to make this change now, Bob? Good morning, uh, Dagan. It's very important to make these changes right now because Donald Trump recognizes the need for coal-fired electricity in America to hold down the cost of it and to provide reliability in our power uh, supplies. He also cares about working people and our coal miners. He has not been able, however, to carry out all the needed programs significantly as a result of a January vote against him and against Energy Secretary Rick Perry by the feckless appointees to the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. But it is very important that coal survive these plant closures and that at least 30 percent of our electricity and our electric power grids come from coal for reliability and for cost. Well, Bob, you have a good relationship with the administration, and you have been involved in shaping the president's energy policies. But as you were just pointing out, the, you think that the president and this administration is still falling short. Can you talk more about that? What else needs to happen? What regulations need to go? Well, let me give you an, an, an illustration of the problem we have in America today. Coal-fired electric power plants are being closed at an alarming rate, and we have to stop that. That's what he has to do. It, these are result in very bad consequences, Dagan, for America's electricity consumers. With these closings, electric power grids have become unreliable and insecure. This was illustrated in a cold snap that we had at, at the beginning of this year, where coal supplied 57 percent of the power, natural gas only 15 percent because it wasn't available at the time. Some utilities often claim that closing these coal-fired plants will lead to lower cost electricity, but this is simply not true. A study just shown by Energy Ventures Analysis, it's a prestigious firm, Dagan, that the premature retirement of these plants will cost electricity consumers 15 times more than continuing to operate them. They took three plants in the PJM interconnection and did the study. It will cost $2 billion per year to retire these three plants. It will only cost $130 million a year to keep them operating. This is just in one microcosm of three plants. And by the way, replacing them with natural gas will cost electric ratepayers $5.7 billion. So these coal-fired plants, your, your viewer, your couple on fixed income, uh, manufacturers that need low-cost electricity, they must keep at least 30 percent coal generation in this country or electric rates are going to skyrocket. And that is exactly what the president understands. He gets it and he's trying to address it. But unfortunately, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission has not recognized that you can't store sunshine or wind at a power plant or natural gas either. But, but Mr. Murray, this is Adam Shapiro, and, and I admire coal workers. I had the honor of going to a coal mine in Hazard, Kentucky a year and a half ago, two years ago. But the fact is, we haven't built a new coal-fired electric plant in this country in, what is it, over 20 years, and that newer technologies are bringing down the cost. Electricity has not skyrocketed, and natural gas is cheaper. So you, you are of... wrong. You are wrong, Mr. Shapiro. Okay, I'm a willing cost to listen. of electricity from a coal-fired plant is four cents a kilowatt hour. Over the last ten years, it's been fifteen cents a kilowatt hour. Over the last ten years, some regions of the country, natural gas is competitive with coal, but not over the entire country. A windmill and a solar panel, Mr. Shapiro, is twenty-six cents a kilowatt hour. Another study just released shows that it's fifty percent cheaper to keep these coal-fired plants operating for the consumer of electricity than to close them. The actual numbers, sir, are four cents, forty dollars, I'm sorry, a kilowatt hour versus eighty dollars a kilowatt hour. But the utilities you know, haven't built coal-fired plants to, to generate electricity. They haven't because they want to, because they want to be politically correct. And as long as they can pass 
the cost of this higher cost gas generation or renewable generation onto the ratepayer, they're going to continue to do that. They like to be politically correct, but it is not in the best interest, in my judgment, and uh, based on these studies of the ratepayers themselves who pay the electric bills, that those couples on fixed income are paying out 31 percent of their income right now for energy. That's gasoline, Mr. Shapiro, and electricity. That is far too high. Bob, good to see you. Bob, thank you for bringing it, as always, Bob Murray with us.